The catalyst for me wanting to make this film really was the Black Lives Matter movement um, and the introspection that came through lockdown. And for me, it was a really profound moment when the Welsh sprinter Sam Gordon posted an interview that, that he did uh, um, in, in, um, in response to the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's a fantastic interview. Um, and the first comment on his social media feed was, he doesn't look Welsh. And that, that really upset me. Um, it made me really angry and, and it took me back to a lot of experiences that, that I'd had and a lot of emotions that I'd suppressed. Um, and that really was the catalyst to, to want to explore what being black and being Welsh was really like in, in 2020. I, I was terrified, if I'm being honest. I'm incredibly proud of who I am. I'm incredibly proud of my mother's heritage, my father's heritage. But my, my coping mechanism through the racism that I've experienced in my life has been to, you know, roll your sleeves up, work harder, be better, be nicer. It's been quite, quite deferential. And, and it took a lot of courage for me to make the decision to, to open up and explore a lot of emotions that I buried and also to do that on camera as well. Um, it was a real challenge filming through COVID and we, we wanted the film to feel current and feel authentic and in some ways COVID kind of allowed us to be more transparent with how we were filming it but equally we we wanted it to feel intimate and we wanted to where possible have as many face-to-face -face conversations which meant actually a lot of the filming was done outside which then posed its own unique challenges with weather I mean it you know, whenever, whenever the forecast said it was sunny, it was going to rain and vice versa. And uh, obviously the nights are getting darker as well, which meant we had smaller windows to film. One of the first challenges we had was deciding who to interview. Um, we had a long list of about 40 names. I think any, even that w was quite an impactful part of the development, just really seeing on paper the, the, just the breadth and the depth of, of black Welsh talent across all sectors that, that we had um, was really impactful. But the the commissioner at ITV, you know, wanted it to be my authentic journey, which uh, which meant that, you know, we, we picked contributors based on, on the points of my story that I wanted to reflect on. And um, my parents were the first stop. I then spoke with Ashton Hewitt, the, the winger at Newport Gwent Dragons, um, moved on to speak with Ryan Giggs, um, Professor Charlotte Williams, then Malian Rees, the actor, and two grime artists, Sunny Double One and Mace the Great, and finished with Vaughan Gessin. I was blown away actually by the responses that I had from the contributors. You know, I I, I was pretty uh, uh, nervous calling Ryan, um, but actually within a few moments of the phone call and 10 minutes later, you know, I felt as if we'd known each other for a long time and it became really clear to me that you know, he was really passionate about this, um, as was uh, the conversation that I had with Vaughan Gethin and, you know, um, Malian Rees as well and, and, and Ashton. And, and it, it, uh, it felt like the timing of the Black Lives Matter movement, the introspection that came from lockdown, had really um, kind of given us a collective confidence and a collective kind of energy and passion to to, to have this conversation. So it, it really felt like the timing was right for this. I feel really proud of the film that we've made. It, it feels really robust. Honestly, I, I, I didn't take any pleasure in, in kind of reliving those experiences and, and hearing um, some really personal and quite inspirational experiences from the, the amazing people that I met on the journey. But I feel really satisfied you know, at, at having had that journey. I, I certainly am, am richer for it and, and I hope that the audience will be too.